Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island. We're stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. Today has been a pretty slow day. I've been like just watching Netflix, sleeping, not much to do because the whole weather. Um, you know, fishing is very dependent on weather. If the weather isn't the best, then it doesn't quite make any sense. But anyway, um, tomorrow we're going out fishing for mackerel and some other stuff. So, you know, with fishing is always about preparation, you know. Um, redoing your lines, redoing your rigs, you know, setting up the baits, whatever the case is. So right now we're um, focusing on getting some bait, some live bait. Um, we should be creating like a live well, meaning you put the bait in that well and they're still in the water and they're still alive. Makes sense? Makes sense. Alright, basically I've never seen a live well but this just makes sense. It's like a fish pot and the water gets in and there's a cover. Um, of course a pool noodle, which you wrap around it to keep it afloat. Okay, what else? People spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for buying live wheels. How much does it cost you? Dude, this is at Bashko. I don't even know how much it's going to cost. You can go to Bashko. It's maybe like 700 yeah. Let's play prices right. <laughs> and you just buy this down there, buy a snoodle, yeah. get some fishing line or tie straps. And it's live cool. So we're going to show you guys how to do it. Alright. So of course you'll see sometimes a um, person have baits in a bucket. But even though fish are in water and you feel like, yeah, it's in water so it's okay. Remember that the fish actually need oxygen out of the water. It's just that their gills, you know, they're able to, you know, pull oxygen out of the water. So if you have them in a bucket just like that, they're going to die really quickly. I've seen them out here with the baits in there and they pass. You know, really quick. So with this live well, it's gonna make a whole heap of difference to keeping your bait alive. Um, reason for keeping a bait alive, of course, is some fish like a challenge. They don't want to just have the food dead on the line. They want the food to actually be moving and to give them fair chase. <laughs> Which it's gonna keep it afloat, yeah, because as you know, to keep the live waves alive. Alright guys, so you see what I'm talking about? Saved a lot of money here. You just need a, ba a basket from Bashkar or Megamart, some fishing line, a noodle, and you have yourself a live well. You can even put shrimp in there. Anything Straight. you guys want at the river. It's good, cheap, beautiful. In the, down. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the US it's probably cost like what, like five Pass bucks? Over there. So cheap. Improvise. You see that? Improvise bro. We're going to get two line. And just pin it on here so you have a little lid where you can open up mm -hmm. and close back. See? It? Yeah. Where's that the line? Yeah. <laughs> Around the neck. Around the place that you put line in the boy. Alright guys, so I know you guys were thinking we were joking. Here's one live well here, it's really small, so it's a 13 quart for like Nine hundred dollars, nine nine ninety nine. This one is another nine ninety nine as well, and this one is just what like nine bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking genius, bro! Freaking genius. So we're putting on some sabiki, and let me tell you, man, if you're a fisherman, like, or you want to learn about fishing, this this sabiki thing here. It's crazy. Size three is like the best size to catch like bait, but one to four is okay. Yeah, but you have to be really careful with it because if you allow the fish to tangle up themselves, then you basically waste a sabiki in it. Yep. So, but to rig this up really quick, and this is gonna be rigged up on a micro reel. A micro reel. So you realize that it's really small, but it's the motion of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the perfect size to catch like those small bait yeah, fish instead of getting like a really big reel, which yeah. is like twice or three times the size of that. That's right. All right, let's do it. All right. So just in case if you guys missed um, a previous bit video, basically it's like mini miniature fish scales, right? And they need to be charged up. So you have to make sure that you put Charging. them. 
you put them in some um, some light like glow sticks basically and they're going to light up that's what basically attracts the fish you know to them No man, you want to clip it through. Take it back out of that bro. You see the open? We don't want more on this line go through the thing. So just pin it through it. Right, now lock it on. Guys, that didn't even take two freaking seconds, man. That's our double hook up. Yeah, man. Yeah, so this is like literally 10 seconds afterwards and <laughs> this is unfair, bro. <laughs> bro, this is literally like Yo. All right, bro. So, what's the pre right now? Yes. Yeah, so what I'm. What I was telling you earlier is that to, the key to have a successful fishing trip mm -hmm. is to be prepared and have good bait. Right? So that's what we're doing right now. We're looking some live sprats. We're gonna put them in our live well, keep them live for tonight. Right? Tomorrow morning we're gonna head out, do some spear fishing, and then in the afternoon when it gets cool like around 3, 3 30 down to sunset, we're gonna go do some king mackerel fishing, right? So when you speak about mackerel, is like the Jamaican mackerel or no, it's not the ones you get in the, the, the tin. Not the <laughs> tin boom or dash out. Yeah, there, right? flash out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a family of the Wahoo. So you have the three kind of mackerel we have in Jamaica. We have Sierra mackerel, King mackerel, and Spanish mackerel. Cool. Those are the three ones that we're going for. And you'll see them tomorrow, hopefully, if we get any. All right, so this is what we're talking about, bro. The key, bro, the key, and I tell you guys this, if you guys are gonna start doing fishing and you're gonna have a successful catch rate, be prepared, right? Facts. Just be prepared. Get your live bait. Get your good quality bait like this. You can't get a better size than this. It's a beautiful sprat right here, right? And this is gonna be the perfect bait tomorrow, right? Awesome. Tomorrow, sorry, as I said, when we're gonna go out, we're gonna carry you guys to a secret location for some really epic diving. That's right. And hopefully, Spearfish Jamaica can go and get some his beautiful, what you call it now, wildlife. He mutton snap on him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then me and Soy now, he's going to go off and do some king mackerel fishing. All right. Which is going to be epic. And light tackle, which is going to be wicked. Stay awesome. tuned, guys. All right. So for those who might want to know, um, right now there is what, like four sprat in the right. water? Like right. how long could it last in this well, level of water? Um, Probably about 10 minutes. 10 but minutes. But that's, to me, it's critical, right? Yeah. Because four fish in there they're using up the oxygen in the water really really fast so right now the key is to take them out and let's put them in the live so they get the natural flow of the oxygen and stuff in the water right cool so let's take it out smithy and let's bring her into the live well and then refill it back up again step on the platform bro and open it up Yeah, just open up the top and just throw them in with the water and everything. Just bring it over the tube. Just give it to my water. Yeah. Yeah, just open up the top like that, bro. Swing it around to you. Yeah, like right there. Yeah. Just show them in there. Yeah, like that. There you go. That's right. Bring it back down. So I have a question because persons have commented and they said that you, you have a lot of freaking knowledge like how much years of knowledge are we looking at right here? Well, from what could I learn for walk uh -huh. for fishing. You understand? Years and years and years and years of fishing. You understand? But trust me, it's when you're going fishing, you have to put the work into it to be successful. You yeah. understand? You have to put the work into it. 
you have to rig your lures, sharp hooks, good line, you understand? Good equipment. And, and the end key. results, she can't get better than that. You cool. catch a fish there. People out there and there's no bait. Exactly. So at least we know so we can get a dozen bait here, so just in case. And that's the cool thing about bait catching, as, as I've noticed, like docks and piers, like anywhere where the, the smaller fish can hide from predator fish, have a higher success rate of yeah, catching bait. Yeah, definitely. But you did mention just now, like catching bait out at sea. Yeah. These, oh. these sprats, you know, they do go out at sea, like they go from inside where the rocks are and come out into the harbor. And that is why there's so much kingfish out there, right? Mm. And mackerel, because they're feeding on the sprat. So that's the main key. You don't just go and throw a line into the water and say, okay, I'm gonna catch a fish now. You have to look for different things. Structure on the bottom, currents in the water. You understand? You have to look for the bait balls. Because wherever there's bait, there's what? Bigger fish. Bigger fish. Because right? Right. you have to feed, right? They're eating. Makes sense. What does be right there, number one? No, I know if any of you guys are like me, you might be wondering, you know. They're basically in a cage for the night until tomorrow morning like why not have some simple luxuries enough eating but the sprats actually eat very micro what you would say micro like plankton kind of small crew yeah so you remember that character in spongebob that little dude yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> him, and, <laughs> him and all his friends go in the basket it was like yeah, party you know what i'm saying so the basket serves several purposes not just to allow water in fresh water to continue to go through but also food as well so they have food to eat until they become food to eat Oh, it is true. Yeah. You could never. <laughs> yeah, that's a video. You're gonna give me an eggs up like eggs. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what can't you read the party? You actually have to see me. Yeah, that's what I mean. So there, so with Oshin, she basically baiting up the water. She threw some tails in there just now, and the fish are going crazy. But I go like so, not done. Pam me round your two now, man. You know me, embarrassed. You know. Cheers. Cheers. But I come go on like so, you know. You know what, man? What a ugly fish. Fear Smithy. Till we get. You know, see, I'm a finest pot side. Yeah. See where one of them are idled. 
After everyone gets the release. Babylon release the chain. It's a type of jack, like a dolphin jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. <clears throat> this is a moon jack. A moon they jack. call him look down or flat jack. Okay. Because when you look at him this way, him broad. When you look at it this way. <laughs> is it? Yeah. There's a lot of meat up in here, man. But they're really, really, really nice fish to eat. How big do they grow? They get big enough. They get like. They can't even fit into the bucket. Like the width of the bucket. Wow. Five gallon bucket. Wow. Yes, I got to them in a beta now. Makes sense. Big Mm hmm. Just caught a sea shrimp. Alright, guys. So, right now I'm basically beat. Um, Ashin's still there to sell fish. This other sphere, I think. She loves the fishing. You see me? So, I'm gonna go and watch her a little bit. I mean, it's very therapeutic to be quite honest because you're here in the water and all that, and you just. Yeah. But um, tomorrow, we'll get back into another vlog where you've had seen how we prepare to catch the bait and stuff like that. And then we'll see what tomorrow has to bring. But anyway, guys, when we see things, love nature adaptation, and always remember, keep link.